What's up, y'all? My name is Miles out of Holiday World in Dallas, Texas, and today we are taking a look at this 2022 Keystone Cougar 364 BHL. This is one of my favorite bunkhouse fifth wheels out there on the market, and I like it so much, I actually convinced my dad to buy this RV about six months ago or so. So my family, we have a 2021 model of this, and I've got to go on a camping trip in it already. I do have a video that you can check out somewhere on the screen here where you can see that, but this is what my family owns. Like I said, it is a really cool bunkhouse fifth wheel. It's technically like a two bedroom with a bit of a loft and a bath and a half. So a lot of really neat features about it. You may also be coming here from looking at something like the Avalanche 390 DS. This will be like a less expensive, more lightweight version or alternative to something like the Avalanche 390 DS that is really, really hard to even find and see in person with how popular it is. But this is a great alternative to that as well. There's lots of benefits to it. We're gonna take a look at all that this trailer, this fifth wheel has to offer. So let's go. Welcome back to another video, y'all. If this is your first time tuning into one of my videos, I'm super excited that you're here. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy. And if you do get something out of this video or you enjoy it, consider hitting the like button down below and definitely the subscribe button. Become a part of this growing community of RVers all around the world. And then if you would like to connect with me on other social media platforms, links to my Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook are down below in the description where you can find other RV content and send me DMs, stuff like that. Next, if you like this RV or are looking for an RV and would like me to assist you in helping you find your next RV, I can help you out. I am in a sales position. So my contact information is down below in the description and at the end of the video for you to contact me. And finally, I want to state that I am no certified RV expert. So if there's something I miss or something I misspeak on, let me know down below in the comments do so in a respectful way i do my best to try to put out the best content possible but i'm not perfect and i try my best to be so if you can help me continue to learn as i continue to learn more about these rvs drop some stuff down below in the comments if i miss something or misspeak on something so this cougar here comes in at 39 feet 6 inches and is about 11,520 pounds i believe is what it said on the sticker we'll go inside and check real quick but you also have the specs up here on the screen it also has an 80 gallon fresh water tank which is pretty remarkable as well. But you can see right here, there you go, yeah. Right inside the door, 11,520 pounds and 39 feet six inches on the total length. So we'll start with walking around the outside, taking a look at the outside of this Cougar. You can see you have your two awnings out here so you'll get good coverage of your campsite and whatnot. Like I mentioned, in the video that I made of our family's camping trip, you could see how ours was set up with the awnings out, the LED lights that you have underneath the awning, the lights on the front cap. All looks really, really good, especially as the sun is setting or coming up in the morning, stuff like that. Really nice looking camper when you get it out on your campsite. So I would encourage you to go check out that video, see what it looks like in actual application out camping. On your front cap, you're gonna have a windshield there. They do a really good job of how dark that windshield is. You can see the light that's on inside in the bedroom, but if I were to turn that off, I mean, you can't even really tell that it's a windshield. So you'll have that there. Coming up to your pin box, it is going to have, this looks like this is the, this must be the Rotaflex pin box. Cause it doesn't, it's either Rotaflex or Road Armor that make these pin boxes here. And this one doesn't say Road Armor. So I'm gonna go with it's most likely Rotaflex that is making this pin box. And with this pin box, you have this rubber gasket right here. This is going to absorb a lot of your chucking. So basically, as you're moving back and forth, you're accelerating and braking, and this is sitting in the hitch in the bed of your truck, this head is going to pivot back and forth here, and this rubber gasket is going to absorb a lot of that impact. So that will be your pin box set up here. However, a lot of people have also been going, like my dad, with this Reese Goose Box attachment here, which this here allows you to hook up to a ball in the bed of your truck so you don't have to deal with the fifth wheel hitch. And that can be put on here in replace of this pin box so that you could just tow with the ball in the bed of your truck and not have to worry about a big bulky hitch back there. You're also gonna have the hitch vision plate. This is a um, patented thing by Keystone where they have this plate here so that you can see as you're backing up, you can see into the bed of your truck through your rear view mirror or through your back window. And then you have this nice light here that allows you to set up in darker conditions as well as your docking lights and your safety lights all around the front end of this trailer. In the storage compartment up front, this is where your spare tire is going to be stored. And then you have your battery connections here with a 
um, control switch there where you can kind of kill all the power to the battery. One thing to mention though, if you are putting your battery or your RV in storage and you don't want any power going to the battery whatsoever, you do have to disconnect the battery connections because there are still things like your smoke detector and your carbon monoxide detector that will be running off the battery that will drain that even if you switch that off. So if you're looking to fully disconnect your battery, you have to disconnect those. But this is great for if you're at your campsite, you just don't wanna go through and turn every single light off individually, but you wanna kill that power to the battery. You can flip that and that will take care of that right there. Now, in addition to your battery, this does have a 200 watt solar panel on the roof. So you can see that indicated here. There are 200 watt solar flex that they have that is going to keep your battery trickle charged, which is great because you do have a residential refrigerator in here as well that is going to be running off the electrical system. So that is going to help make sure that even when you have things like your lights on and whatever you have powered by the battery should always be accessible because that solar panel is going to make sure your battery stays charged and make sure that you don't lose power to all of your components that are powered by the battery, such as your lights, your slide outs, your awnings, things like that. So we open up here, I wanna show you the solar charge controller. That will be right here. So that is what is monitoring the charge on your solar panel. Then you have another battery disconnect here, which is going to your inverter, which is going to be powering things like your refrigerator. So you have that in here as well. This does have auto leveling on it. So you have electric auto leveling on it. Basically you hold this down for three seconds and this RV will level itself out. So nice system there. Nice to have the auto leveling feature make your life a whole lot easier. This is the first camper my family has had that has auto leveling and it is so nice because I was the one growing up that had to hand crank all of your stabilizer jacks down. That was my job. So no more doing that, which is awesome. Then in here, you're gonna have all your water connections. You can see you have this cavity here so you can feed your hoses up through there and keep this storage door closed. But you're gonna have your tank pull valves. Um, you're gonna have your water connections to fill up your water tanks and then you're going to have your external shower where it does come with a about a 25 foot hose that you can hook up there and you have an external shower on the other side of the rv that we'll look at in just a second as well you're going to have key tv so there's a capability to have up to four or five tvs on this rv so if you have all these different tvs key tv is going to make it really easy to get different channels on each tv that has its own cable box so if you did want to do something like a satellite you'll be able to have that cable here that's running all the way up to the roof already that's the hardest part of installing a satellite is running that cable through the whole rv that is already installed running to the roof so getting a satellite is installed or getting a satellite installed is more easy and then this is just a plug and play method with your tvs inside the RV to get your individual channels on each TV. You also have an additional solar plug here. So if you wanted to add another solar panel out here on the side of your RV, you can do that as well. And that'll be pre-wired to the battery. And that's pretty much everything throughout this compartment here. You're gonna have a six gallon gas and electric water heater. So you'll have both those sources to heat up your hot or heat up your water heater and speed that up if you need to run both at the same time to get more hot water. You're gonna have one propane compartment here and one on the other side. The reason they put one on this side and one on the other side is so you can have more consistent storage compartment doors. So they try to make it so these can be the same size on each side of the RV, which you can see both of these compartment doors are the same size because if you were to put two propane bottles here, this would have to be a smaller door. So that's why they put them on um, separate sides there. And they're both gonna be 30 pound, uh, yeah, 30 pound bottles that you have here. You have side camera prep. So if you want to do side and backup cameras, those can both be added onto this RV. This is where the side camera would go if you wanted to get that installed. And real quick, while we're still on this side of the RV, this is going to be where your dump station's at for your kitchen and main bathroom. So everything will run to that right there. And then if I remember correct, yeah, there's another one back here for your half bath that is going to be in the bunk room area so you'll have those two different dump stations there this one is just going to be the black tank in the half bathroom and everything else will be running to that other one that you have there over here this is your fresh water connection so this is where you will fill your fresh water tank in this compartment right here so that will fill that up you have an 80 gallon fresh water tank which is crazy that is i believe the biggest 
for anything in this class of RV, being that this is still a mid-profile fifth wheel, even though it's a big mid-profile, um, 80 gallon freshwater capacity is pretty insane. Then you have this storage compartment here that goes under the bed in the bunk room. So you have access to this from inside and outside. Your power connection here, and you have a 300 pound rated hitch here. So you, it's an accessory hitch, not a towing hitch. So you can put accessories on the back of your RV, like a generator or a grill or whatever you may want to put back here. I've even seen something really cool that one of my customers that bought for me a while back did. They have kayaks. And what they did is they actually found a, a person out here in Dallas that makes kayak racks that go on a hitch like that. And they're able to um, basically have their kayaks running like this on the back of their RV. And they had like the capability to put four on the back, I believe. So that's something really cool that I saw that that hitch can be used for as well. Coming on to this side with the two awnings, these arms are adjustable. So basically you can see here, you can, you have this gas strut that you can pull up and down when these are fully extended to get the pitch where you want it to be or allow water to run off. So that's how you'll do that there. You do have, um, let's see, oh, we'll get to it in just a second. Uh, you have a grill here in the outdoor kitchen, which is pretty cool. So this is a capital grill that it comes with. I will be completely honest, me and my family, we don't use this grill. Um, I'm not too big on outdoor kitchens just because we don't use them. We bring a little Coleman grill. And when I say little, it's about double the size of what this grill space is. So it's much more practical and functional for us to use that. You get a lot more cooking space on it. And we just set it up right out here. You have a propane quick connect line underneath here. It's right there, that little gold piece right there. While I'm under here, this is also your storage for your sewer hoses. So you will have that there as well. And you have it fully enclosed underneath so fully enclosed underbelly, all your water lines and water tanks and stuff will be getting that radiant heat in that area as you travel down the road or as you have your furnace running, I should say. As you're traveling down the road, part of the climate package, you have 12 volt heat pads on all of your water tanks. So as you're traveling down the road, if you have water in your tanks and it is anywhere close to below freezing temperature, adding in wind chill as well, you will have those 12 volt heat pads to make sure your water tanks don't freeze. But anyways, with the grill, got loud cars going by. With the grill, we don't really use this grill too often, to be honest, because um, we have that Coleman grill that we typically use. But still, nonetheless, you have it here and available. And then you'll have, my favorite thing is like, you have this compartment here. Because I was doing a lot of filming on our camping trip, I had my phone plugged in here most of the time, which was very convenient to have it outside and easily accessible when I needed to get to it quick to film something. And then you'll have your little dorm style refrigerator. For your doors here, they are all magnet latch doors. So they'll snap right there and stay up nice and easy. And nothing too complicated about it. This is your second entrance into the half bathroom. Again, very convenient having this out here. This is the first RV that we've had that had an outdoor entrance into a bathroom. Made life a whole heck of a lot easier when you had to get to the bathroom and just go to the bathroom real quick it's really nice to be able to just step in there you don't have to walk through the whole camper to get to a bathroom and i really did appreciate that and felt that that was a very nice thing to have when we're out camping making life a lot easier don't even have to take off your shoes to get to the bathroom which is something that i'm not used to I'm used to always having to take off my shoes to go inside to the bathroom then here, this was the outdoor shower I was talking about on this side of the camper. So if you need water on your campsite, which I feel like most people, it's more practical to have it out here. You do have that shower hook up there. It also will come with a hose that's long enough to reach to your outdoor kitchen area. So if you needed that water for something you're doing with cooking, you'll have that as well. Then underneath here, you're going to have the road armor suspension. So road armor suspension, basically the biggest thing about it is it gives you six inches of travel. So you see you have rubber gaskets here, 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 and here. These are giving you three inches of travel up and three inches of travel down for a total of six inches of travel, which is the best out of anything coming out of the factory. Pretty much everything else is just three inches of travel. So that road armor suspension system really gonna help as you're going down the road, making sure your RV's not shaking like crazy and having a smooth, consistent ride. And you have your outdoor speakers out here so you can have your outdoor entertainment and whatnot. And then finally going into your pass-through storage, you have this in-command system here, which is really important to point out because there are still manufacturers out there to this day 
that do not use color coordinated wiring. So whether you are trying to troubleshoot an electrical issue yourself or taking it into service where you are paying by the hour for that work, having color coordinated wiring with everything labeled and identified is going to significantly speed up the process. I kid you not, my techs tell me all the time that there are manufacturers that use all solid white wiring for everything, but you can imagine how hard it would be to diagnose a problem and figure out where a problem is coming from when every single wire is the same color. So this is part of their in-command system that Cougar uses where you have all your color coordinated wiring, really easily accessible. And then this panel here, just if I put it the right way, just covers it up there so it's concealed and you don't see it. But that's a big deal. And then you're gonna have your pass-through storage here. So a nice size storage compartment. And it's just about everything. The last thing I'll touch on is part of the climate package that they have here. Um, because Cougar does have a phenomenal climate package and climate rating. But you're gonna have fully insulated slide out boxes and the flooring is a double layer floor. So you get added insulation from having double layers in that floor and then they use astrofoil insulation in the slide out box in the flooring as well. So lots of insulation going on in your slide out box where a lot of other manufacturers don't insulate their floors the same way that Cougar does. And your slide out boxes are always gonna be the most susceptible to letting in um, temperature changes because of how they're constructed as well as your windows but they have that um, double layer floor for added insulation and doing everything they can to give you the best climate package possible on this Cougar. So that's just about everything on the outside. Um, like I said, you have the solar panel on the roof as well. It will be a 200 watt solar panel that we just can't see from the ground here. And that's just about it. Let's head inside and take a look at the inside. So as we head inside, a lot of people ask questions about these steps. Um, these are gonna be, these are from Lipper, I believe. Uh, yeah, the solid step XF. These steps just keep getting bigger and bigger. You can see how big this step is. I wear a size 11 shoe and you can see my whole entire foot fits on this step with a size 11 shoe. So a really big size first step coming out of there. And then you see how low you can get your first step to the ground so that you have an easier access going up and down here. I know some people do not like when you have to take a big first step to get up into the RV. So you don't have that problem here. To get these up and down, they just lift like so. So they'll lift just like that. Nice to change this year. You have these little pins that you just pull right here to adjust the length of these legs. You can individually adjust each leg so that you can get the most sturdy, solid, um, what's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> I was gonna say connection to the ground, but you can get the most solid uh, surface area on the ground to make sure that everything is stable and not rocking. The biggest thing of, that is a huge advantage to this other than just the safety of making sure you're not slipping coming in and out of the RV. But if somebody's inside the RV taking a nap or sleeping, whatever they may be doing, you can run up and down these steps and it is not going to shake the RV whatsoever. Whereas with traditional RV steps like these, it will shake the entire camper if you go up and down those aggressively. So this is going to make sure everybody inside your RV is staying comfortable in there and you're not shaking the whole thing going in and out. And then I wanna point out that we here at Holiday World, we are a priority RV network dealer. This is one of the biggest things we have to offer here at Holiday World of Dallas. If you look at this map here, it's about 130 different dealerships across the United States that are a part of this network. And this is such a big deal because all 130 of these dealerships across the United States will not only get you in to their dealership for service, but if you're in the middle of a trip and you have an emergency that is preventing you from being able to use your RV, say an AC goes out in the middle of summer, you have a major water leak, your refrigerator's not working, anything like that, these dealerships will all get you in the front of the line at their service departments. So that is a huge deal, having all these different locations across the United States that give you that peace of mind, knowing that if you do have something that goes wrong, you're gonna be taken care of. And then here at Holiday World, if I am your salesperson, I want you to have the most stress-free traveling and vacation trips possible. So if something like that did happen, I would tell you to call me. Don't go trying to search for these dealerships yourself. If you're on the road traveling and you bought an RV for me, just call me. I will get everything taken care of for you. I'll work with my service manager to get appointments set up for you to find the nearest locations to you and all that stuff so you don't have to deal with those headaches. So that's something we do here at Holiday World that is pretty unique to us. But that's pretty much it. Finally, going inside, we have this 
um, assist bar here that will help you disconnect your screen from your main door. And let's get up inside here. Now, you have opposing slide outs in this living room, which is gonna give you the island kitchen. And it is just beautiful in here. This is by far the most aesthetically pleasing RV that my family has ever had. And it still amazes me when I see them using it, see the pictures they send me, and then the trip that I went on with them. It amazes me that this is like what our RVing experience is elevated to. Cause we started off in pop-up campers and then small travel trailers, and then finally made our way to this almost 40 foot fifth wheel. And it's pretty remarkable just knowing that we have reached that step in the RVing experience and it's a whole lot of fun. So the reason my family chose this floor plan is because it has the bath or the bedroom back there with the half bath. Um, my older sister, she had a baby. So I have a little almost three year old nephew or right around three years old. And they use that back bedroom for their own personal space when they travel with them. So it's great for that. And we love it. We have a great time. They definitely have been using it a lot since they bought it. So I wish I could go on more trips with them, but I don't always get the opportunity to. But as we look around, you have a legless dinette table. So this is like a dream dinette is what they call it. So legless going in and out of there is gonna be super easy. And then to break this free, you can see you have this little latch here. You just move that to the side. And then this thing will go up and down. So you can push it down into the bed position and make this into a bed. These cushions right here will essentially just fill in over the top of it. When you push that all the way down, it's lower as it can go. And then you can just lock it back in place like so, so that it won't go anywhere. Underneath the dinette, you have, or um, underneath the cushions of the dinette, you have your storage compartments underneath here. Um, the nice thing about these seats is they are backed with like a wooden material there. So they are solid on the back side of these booth dinette seats or cushions. And that'll be on both sides that you'll have those storage compartments. With your recliner seating, these are gonna be powered. Unfortunately, I don't have this hooked up to 110 power just to the battery. But when you're hooked up to 110 power, you get the lights in the cup holders, the lights underneath the seats as well. They are Allure furniture, which is very, very comfortable. Um, at first I was a little skeptical of Allure because I just hadn't seen it prior to, you know, pretty much everything being Thomas Paine. But I really like these. They're a great piece of furniture. They're really comfortable. You have the heat and massage features as well, plus the USB port for charging. And you will have that on both sides. And then it's just gonna be a pull cord for your recliner's feature right there. So you can pull that and it will recline like so. Plus it should lay all the way back just like that. So you can lay almost completely flat in this recliner. Close that up. Another really important thing to point out in your slide out box, there is no carpet. I know I still see manufacturers out there using carpet. I won't say who, but the only carpet you have is like right back here. This is all going to be a PVC woven material. So it's gonna be more water resistant. It's gonna be a lot harder for water to penetrate through this woven material. And in addition to that, Underneath here, you're gonna have a fully wrapped flooring as well. So again, another layer of protection for your slide out flooring that you have there. Speaking of flooring, you have Dynaspan flooring underneath here. So your sub flooring is what is called Dynaspan. It's the same thing used in the Keystone Montana. Biggest features about it is one, Keystone has never had a warranty claim on this Dynaspan flooring, which is incredible. It comes with a 25 year warranty and it is basically like a flooring that would be used in boats where it is a marine grade flooring that is fully water resistant. So if you were to spill water on it, it's just going to beat up and you could wipe it right off. So giving you that um, peace of mind, knowing that if you spill any liquids on here or whatnot, it's not going to absorb into that flooring. If you have water leaks and stuff like that, it will resist that water from soaking into the wooden materials. And like I said, they haven't had a warranty claim on it ever. So it's a really, really trusted and proven product that they use across many of their different trailers. And the fact that they use it in their Montana, which has been the number one selling luxury fifth wheel for the past like 21, 22 years in a row, speaks for itself. And speaking of stats like that, also Cougar, has been the number one selling mid-profile fifth wheel for something like 10 or 12 years in a row, somewhere right around there. So they're right up there with Montana too, being one of Keystone's top featured products 
and top consistent products when it comes to the quality that they put out. So to give you a look at your light fixtures here, and as we're looking up at the roof, you're going to have two Coleman Mach Q-Series ACs. So these are going to be very quiet AC systems, although they're not the whisper quiet. These are 12 decibels quieter than your traditional RV ACs. So when we're running our ACs out camping, I don't even notice them, they're that quiet. I mean, they really are very, very quiet. And then they use the blade AC vents, which what these do is these are pushing air out in a 360 degree motion as opposed to directional um, vents that just shoot air in one direction. That Keystone has figured out in their factories that they are cooling down RVs about 20% quicker than your standard directional vents. So that is something that we've been seeing across the board with multiple different Keystone lines and something that they are pretty much adapting in all of their products now because it's just so much more efficient. It's essentially cooling your RV from the top down and getting more consistent airflow out across your RV. You also have dual ducting as well. So if you notice here, you can see like the AC is right here. You have vents running along this side and vents running along this side, which means you have ducting coming out on both sides of the AC unit. And then these are also going to be going all the way up to the bedroom where you have your second AC unit in here. And these are gonna be ducted together. You can see you have your two vents in here. So there's a lot of RVs that only have one line of ducting that runs through the RV. So you can imagine you're getting, you know, half the amount of airflow that you are getting with something like this Cougar where you have the two vents or two lines of ducting coming out of your AC units. But we'll get back up to the bedroom in just a second. Show you more features in this kitchen here. You're gonna have solid surface countertops. So again, don't have to worry about spilling anything on there, nothing like that. It's basically like a stone feeling material. Um, to be completely honest, I don't know exactly what the material is, but it's a, like a stone. So really solid, feels really good. And then you have this stainless steel dual basin sink and you'll have the covers that go on these as well. Get those back on there. Nice stainless steel faucet that will have a pull down hose that you have. And then you have your kitchen area over here where you're gonna have your residential size microwave. It is just a standard microwave with a turntable. And then you'll have your three burner Furion cooktop. You can turn these lights on here so you have the nice blue lights and they turn red when that particular burner is on so you know which one is on. And then you have a standard size RV oven underneath here. Nothing too crazy big or anything like that, but enough to get the job done for sure. And you also have a window behind here so you can get a view into your campsite as well. Definitely like that, lets in more natural light and a nice little touch. This will cover the stove so you can use that for countertop space when you need it. And then you'll have an outlet right back here as well. I know that's where we plug in our Keurig. So we have that right there. Have nice little storage shelves next to the microwave, two storage compartments. I guess two storage cabinets that are open to one storage compartment up in here. And deep storage down throughout here. My family were able to fit a lot of stuff in here. I was surprised at how much stuff we were able to get into that area right there. And then you have another wide open compartment down here as well. In the island, you're gonna have four size drawers that are all gonna be the same size. You can see you get your nice silverware tray there as well. All four of these drawers will be the same size. They are on a like ball bearing, um, Gosh, I can't think of what the name of this would be. I was gonna say rail, but I know that's probably not the technical term for it. But basically you have ball bearings here, so it's really smooth drawers. And those will all be the same size, all four of those. And then you have a big storage compartment underneath your sink here. So lots of space under there as well. In addition to all that, you have this humongous pantry Hopefully the light's on in here because it is a motion activated light, which it looks like it is not. But turn that on. Normally when you open the door, that'll just flip on by itself because it's motion activated. And look at all this pantry space that you have. I mean, it is humongous. It's not like super deep, but it's almost a foot deep just about. And tons of shelf space that you have there to store all your food and all those goods there. You're gonna have your breakers and fuses in this compartment as well, so it's nice and hidden. 
um, not gonna be easy for like kids to get to and mess around with. And finally, you can't really tell in the video, but you do have an LED light strip underneath here. So this LED light strip, when it's a little bit darker in the RV and there's not so much natural light coming in, shines nicely on the white island that you have and looks really good. Let's get this refrigerator opened up, show you the size of the refrigerator. They have not put the shelves in and everything yet, but it's a 16 cubic foot refrigerator and freezer. You have different individual compartments down here in the freezer and then really big refrigerator space. It's a higher brand. I know I saw this at Home Depot for something like somewhere around like $2,500 to $3,000. So it's a good quality refrigerator that you're getting. And ultimately, I just think it looks really good in this Cougar. It's just a really clean, sharp looking refrigerator that looks really nice. You're gonna have your TV fireplace here. Fireplace does put out heat. The greatest thing about the fireplace, one, it's really close to your recliner. So if you're sitting in this space, you're definitely gonna feel that heat pretty much blowing directly on you. It's a 5,500 watt electric furnace, essentially. Um, or a 5,500 BTU, not watt, sorry. <laughs> and uh, I don't have it hooked up to shore power right now, so we can't get it turned on, but it has four different colors. There's like blue, purple, red, and orange. And then you'll have your um, storage compartments right here kind of nice how these flip down like that hidden hinges and everything so you don't see them on the outside all your sound controls here and up above your tv this is where we keep all our dvds and whatnot because we do still have some dvds and we keep those all up in that compartment there so that is just about everything in this living space here we're going to make our way back into the second bedroom and take a look at what this space has to offer so as we come back here you're going to have your queen size bed here it does flip up so you have your storage space underneath here and as i'm looking at this i say queen i think this is actually going to be a full i have a full size bed in my apartment and this looks about the same size as my bed so i'm gonna correct that and say that this is a full Okay, yes, I was correct the second time. It is a 54 by 74 inch bed. So basically that is going to put it in about a full size mattress. And then you'll have a queen size mattress in the bedroom. What I really like about how Cougar did this floor plan, because if I remember correct, Cougar was the first brand to implement this floor plan style. And then a lot of other brands have followed suit since. But I don't know that I've seen another one that has a window this big in the back bedroom. So you get so much natural light in here with that big window, this big window here. And then I have it closed, but that window back there as well. Allowing, for, oh, and this one. So allowing for so much natural light in here. It looks really, really nice. It comes with a Serta memory foam mattress. So it's an upgraded mattress as well. And then you're gonna have so much wardrobe storage space back through here. You see you have the clothing rod there that runs all the way through. So definitely for even like a week long trip, I mean enough storage space here for really at least, you know, one person and probably two people to get all their clothes back in there. Then you have a nice nightstand here with storage cabinet right there. Your plugs right here for different appliances and your phone. And you have blackout shades. So this will be across all of the different windows. I'll have to double check and make sure they're in the bedroom as well because it might be pleated shades in the master bedroom, but we'll take a look. But you have blackout shades for this window, blackout shades for that window, blackout shades for the bunk window and for this window as well. So those will all be pull down blackout shades. You have a nice, a really nice ladder here actually. This is something that they did a really good job of because I know a lot of times kids are like scared and sketched out by the ladders in some of these RVs. But look at the grab handles that you have on here. Much more secure, plus your steps for the ladder are actually flat. They're not rounded like most other RV ladders are. So very easy to get up into this space. It's going to come with a teddy bear mattress. And this is basically going to be the same size mattress as what we have down here, 54 by 74, in this teddy bear mattress. So you have another essentially full size bed up here. And what I really, really like about this model, especially if you're gonna do extended camping or full-time living, you can put a TV here and a TV here. So you can actually have two different TVs in this bunk room here. So if you have people that 
stay up here and this is where they sleep and then you have someone else that sleeps down here they can each have their own independent tvs and do their own independent thing if you're living in it full time and you have kids that play video games or stuff like that they can both have their own system set up to their own tvs and really cool to be able to do that because that's something that you really can't do in any other bunkhouse that i've seen having two different tv setups in the same bunk room finally you have your half bath back here you do have a nice towel rack it's going to be a porcelain toilet so a dometic porcelain toilet it's a residential style so you really could replace this seat with any residential style toilet seat if you ever needed to storage underneath the sink here stainless steel appliances again and then you're going to have your medicine cabinet and you do have a fan in here as well with the ac vent so you'll have everything you need to get this area cool and also get any smells out of here that you want out. It does have a sliding pocket door as well, so really easy to get in and out of there. And that's pretty much everything with this bunk room space. So let's get up into the master bedroom and bathroom and then finish this thing up. So you come up here. You do have the in-command system on here. So this is gonna be your touchscreen control panel. You can see we're starting to lose battery power as we stay in here longer. But you have your touchscreen control panel that will control every aspect of this RV, if I can get the passcode entered in. But the biggest thing about this is it links to your phone. So everything that this system can do, your phone can do. You can program your ACs to come on and off when you want. You can see that you can schedule them. You can do that from your phone. You can control your lights from your phone, your slide outs, your awnings, all that stuff. So you can be sitting outside of your campground and push your awnings in without having to come inside. And it's just a really nice system. It's really fun to have and definitely our first experience, my family's with having a system like this. That was really cool and really fun to use as you're out camping. So as we go up these steps, you can see you have entrance into the bedroom, entrance into the bathroom. The entrance into the bathroom is going to be a sliding pocket door like the other bathroom is. And a good amount of floor space in here. You have your towel rack right there. You have your corner shower that has the clear glass doors. It looks really good. And you have a, again, porcelain toilet in here the same toilet that's in the half bath so that toilet seat can be switched out with any residential style um, toilet seat if it ever needs to be storage compartment here the reason you're seeing light down into there is because that is the pass-through storage underneath they leave those cavities open so the air that flows into the pass-through storage has a place to escape and can get out which is why you see the light there but when you have your storage doors closed you don't have to worry about anything coming up through there. I know people get concerned about that, but that's just going to your pass-through storage. Three of the same size drawers right here for more bathroom storage. You have your sink with a side-mounted faucet there, outlets, and a really large size medicine cabinet. It's pretty deep, deeper than the one in the half bathroom. You have the two lights over the medicine cabinet and a really large size mirror. And then in addition to that, you have more storage compartment space over here because this is all in a slide out and they made it so that you're able to get to the storage. You see, it goes all the way through there from both the bedroom and the bathroom, which is really cool. Yeah, that actually goes back pretty far. So it will be two of the same size drawers there. This door will open up and it has a magnet catch on it. So that magnet right there will connect to that magnet right there, hold it in place. And then you'll have access into the bedroom where you have the queen size bed, nice windshield up here. That's very dark tint. So you can't really see into it, especially during the day. And I love what Cougar does with their nightstands. They look really, really nice. You have them on both sides and you have outlets and USB ports up above them. You have your storage compartments here for wardrobe storage or whatever you really see fit storage underneath here as well. And then all of your wardrobe storage that we looked at through the bathroom already. But you have your clothes um, rack there to hang all your stuff up. And you'll have these really big pull-out drawers right here that will hold a lot of clothes in them as well. Again, I want to point out no carpet in the bedroom as well. I know Cougar did carpet in the bedroom for a long time, but now it's just on these slide-out components. That's it. And then underneath the bed... You have your storage here that goes all the way to the front cap. So lots of storage space here. It has a clean finish to it as well. And you'll have all that. It is strut assisted also so that you can get to that. 
If you want a TV in the bedroom, you'll be able to get that as well. You can mount it onto this wall. And I like the way this is set up because you could actually put a pretty big size TV in this space. Whereas you can't say that for every other bunkhouse fifth wheel bedroom floor plan. A lot of times you're pretty limited to TV size on this one. You could fit a good size TV in that space if you want that. For your windshield, you do have a pull down blackout shade. And I just realized for this bedroom window as well, you have a pull down blackout shade. So that's a good improvement because I know they haven't always put those in the bedroom, but you have blackout shades across every aspect of this fifth wheel, which I really love that. And you have walking room around both sides of the bed. And then your door here that will close off for privacy. So I think that's just about everything. All right, y'all, appreciate you tuning in. I know I am no certified RV expert. So if I miss something, I just ask that you respectfully let me know down below in the comments or if I misspoke on something or there's something that I incorrectly said, let them know down below in the comments. You don't have to be mean about it. I try my best to put the most accurate information possible out here, but I'm always learning and I'm learning from a lot of y'all. So continue to put down in the comments more information that I may have missed or may have misspoke on. And if there's anything you want to know that I didn't touch on, let's talk down below in the comments. And then finally, if you're looking for an RV, if you like this particular RV that I'm standing in or you're looking for something else, I am in a sales position at my Holiday World of Dallas store. I would love to help you out in finding your next RV. So if you come into our store here at Dallas or if you contact me, my contact information will be at the end of the video and down below in the description. You can call, text, or email me. I would love to help you in your search for finding your next RV and be a part of that process of you finding the perfect RV and helping you through your ownership experience of having your RV. So that's all I got for y'all. Until next time, I'll see you at camping.